Welcome, folks. I'm Jabby Kawe, and we're looking at Aubrey Plaza Reed's Thirst Tweets. This is from BuzzFeed Celeb. So if you guys could be so kind, hit that subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, and pretty please vote this up. Let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. While you're subscribing to that button, maybe subscribe to BuzzFeed Celeb. Uh, there's a link in the description below if you want to click on that. Give the original video an upvote and subscribe to them from there. How big of an Aubrey Plaza fan are you? Let me know. Uh, I've only watched her in Parks and Recreation, but being familiar with her from that and from interviews, I thought this could be a fun video to do with you guys. Let's check it out. Hi, my name is Aubrey Plaza, and I am here with BuzzFeed to read your thirst tweets. I'm just gonna say right now that I think probably 90% of these are gonna be people telling me they want me to run them over with a car or like stomp on their face or something. Let's do it. Buffering, I guess. If Aubrey Plaza actually reads thirst tweets, I will be burying myself alive. Um, I'm doing it, so I hope that you're gonna bury yourself alive. Miss Aubrey Plaza, are you free on Thursday? Because I am free on Thursday. So if you wanna go out on Thursday when I am free, that would be great because I am free on Thursday and Thursday is when I'm free. I, I'm not free on Thursday. I'm free on never day. I wish Aubrey Plaza and Matthew Gray Goobler were my birth parents. Actually, no, I wish I was in a thruple with them. I think you need to decide if you want to be in a thruple with your parents. And that's something that you should talk to your therapist about. And I don't know who Matthew Gray Goobler is. I've never heard of that person mm. in my life. Aubrey Plaza reading thirst tweets. Let's bring back her drinking milk trow her nose. Because that was- You know what he said. H-O-T, all capitals, hot. Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. First of all, I was snorting milk through my nose. I wasn't drinking it through my nose. And I don't have any milk right now, so I'm not gonna do that. Aubrey Plaza, if you are listening, please let me take you out on a date. I am a good company. I swear I'm not a sweaty person. I will let you be mean. She misread it. She was like giving the other one shit. She misread that one. He didn't say I am a good. Right now, so I'm not gonna do that. Aubrey Plaza, if you are listening, please let me take you out on a date. I am a good company. I swear I'm not a sweaty person. I will let you be mean. Ooh, that's enticing. That's, that's really, um, yeah. Perfect threesome, question mark. Me, Aubrey Plaza, and a tub of peanut butter. That makes me feel weird. I'm sorry for being thirsty on Maine. I'm just a huge f simp for Aubrey Plaza. What is simp? Why does everyone say simp? What is this? I don't understand. Simp is the grossest word I've ever heard though. No I one's don't been like saying it or her? reading it. Like this tweet if you would suck Aubrey Plaza's big toe. And if you don't like this tweet, let me know so I can block you. That I like. That is just nasty. And I'm into it. All right. I'm watching Anger Goes West, and I just want to say that I would like both Aubrey Plaza and Elizabeth Olsen to curb stomp me. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. I knew that most of these tweets were going to be about stomping on your face or crushing you with high heels or running you over with a car. Aubrey Plaza is so daddy. She can fix all my daddy issues. I don't know. That's just ironic. I feel like I have daddy issues, and I feel like I want my daddy to fix my daddy issues, but I'll be your daddy. I put myself on a spit roast for Aubrey Plaza. Thank you so much. Kristen Stewart and Aubrey Plaza step on my face challenge. What is it about stepping on your face, people? Twitter, why do you want me to step on your face? How did we get to this point in the world? Aubrey I, Plaza, okay, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I have no idea what the fuck they're talking about. I need you to explain it to me in the comments. I'm feeling like largely outside of the joke here. Uh, about this stepping on the face business. I am not caught up to speed on that. I was just assuming it was some kind of foot fetish or dominatrix kind of thing. And I'm like, ah. Why do you want me to step on your face? How did we get to this point in the world? Aubrey Plaza, hot sex, gorgeous, good acting, hilarious, funny, amazing person, charitable, busy, with the two S's, bussy, bussy, amazing, sexy, pretty cute. Emily the criminal. That was a bot. I think that was a bot and that was not a real person. I would walk into traffic for Aubrey Plaza. Okay. I would sacrifice my firstborn for Aubrey Plaza. I would let Aubrey Plaza kill me if she wanted to. God, I would do anything just to smell her hair. Aubrey Plaza is a goddess and no other human woman will ever live up to her standard. Again, thank you so much. The feminine urge to get railed by Aubrey Plaza. <laughs> Get railed. Why do you guys want me to rail you? Cause I could. 
Aubrey Plaza could choke me to death. I can't tell if she's enjoying this. Does she seem like she's enjoying this? It feels like I, somehow she got talked into this and she's kind of over it. Because I remember watching interviews with her years ago and it seemed like she was having way more fun. Kind of like uh, the character Wednesday from Wednesday. To me, Aubrey Plaza is sort of like the real life Wednesday in a way, right? The one de depicted in the Netflix show in case that wasn't abundantly clear. It just doesn't seem like she's kind of playing back as much as I was sort of expecting her to. Because th just the idea of Aubrey Plaza reading thirst tweets is very enticing as a video. But I'm like here and I'm like, I don't know if she's enjoying this. will be like nice. The violence in these tweets. I have nightmares about this shit. People want me to be mean to them. I don't know, what did I do to deserve this? I'm a nice person. I know everyone has a crush on Aubrey Plaza, but I would actually let her stab me. Again, with the stabbing and the stomping and the chomping. It's like a weird thing where it's like, I hear I hear this so much that I, I want to stab you. I want to stab you and I would. I would let... <sighs> all right. Jesus. I would... <laughs> Go, say it. Sick. You are all sick. Sick little babies and you all need to be stabbed and stomped on. I would let Aubrey Plaza poke my eyeball right, out with fun. a fork and step on my throat with boots with nails on them and if it pleased her. Well, you know what? It does please me. Petition for Aubrey Plaza to plow me. I support your petition and I don't know if I if we're gonna get there, but if we do, <laughs> you're welcome. Aubrey Plaza, I am simply just a hole for you. I, <laughs> and I'm simply just a I'm a person, I'm a human being. What do you want me to do to your holes? Be more specific. What do you want me to do to your holes, Twitter? Cause I will. Anyway, I'm looking forward to more people wanting me to stab them and um, throw them into oncoming traffic. I asked for this and I deserve this. Check out my movie, Emily the Criminal. It's coming out in theaters. You can sit in the theater and imagine me stabbing your holes and railing you with my goddamn talent. You <laughs> sick. The thing is that I want to be dominated. That's the thing that y'all are missing, is that I want to be slapped around and choked and, and stabbed, but whatever. That, that was uh, definitely random. I mean, the tweets, they're definitely random. Like, the what comes across to me is that she never asked for this, and it, it's a little bit disturbing to her. She used to laugh about it, and now it's just like, this is still... A, a thing like why is this still a thing? Everyone's got to promote their stuff, and so that's what the that was the main driving impetus of this video. Was she was trying to promote something, uh, squeeze it in there at the end. If I'm an actress or an actor, knowing what I know about the internet, I would have front ended with that, or at least put it like in the first minute or two. Most people don't stick or, who watch YouTube videos. Most people aren't sticking around to the end. Like most of you guys aren't here anymore. I'm just by myself with the three of you. Hey, nice to meet you, Jeff, man, Irene. Cool to hang out with you guys. How wild would it be? If the people still here watching, one of two of them were named Jeff and Irene. Yeah, I can't tell if she had fun with that or not, but I can't tell what her, she's, I mean, that's part of her appeal, right? Is that she, it's hard to get a read on her. Even with the character that she played in Parks and Rec, like it was just hard to like really know who she, because she's so stoic, she's so dry. So it's worked for her for years and it'll continue to work for her. So. Is it a foot fetish thing? Like, what am I missing here?